Hi again. I'd like to follow up on our weather app that I've been working on here. And um, here's where we're at so far in Xcode. Um, we've created a, a basic app with a storyboard. And you can see here's where our, our UI is laid out. And then we have a view controller to control the storyboard and manage the user interface elements and user interaction. And then we've created uh, this open weather Swift file right here, which is a class that's going to manage loading weather data from the internet. As it is right now, this class just has some data stored here in these variables. And the way that this functions is the first class view controller is going to ask, um, it's going to make a request to weather data by calling load weather, right? So it's going to call the open weather in instance and uh, call the load weather method and then this is going to go through the trouble of loading the weather and then when it's done loading the weather it's going to update these variables with the new values for the weather and then call on its delegate you know in the display weather method in the delegate and then that display weather method will come back and get the values and you know do whatever it needs to do in the interface, right? So what we need to do is we need to make something happen here because right now you know nothing's happening here, so we're just going to get these default data, but that's not really the the current weather conditions, right? So uh, so what we want to do is we want to load some weather data here. So uh, you know we can go through a long process of doing that, but I'm going to shortcut that by borrowing some libraries off the internet to help us out. So what I need to do is I want to get a library to load HTTP data. And there's a bunch of these. Um, the one that I like is called um, Swift uh, HTTP. Okay, so I'm going to just Google for Swift HTTP. And this is Dalton IM Swift HTTP on GitHub. And so I'll go to this site here, and this is the project that we want. <clears throat> and uh, you can click this download zip button in the lower right corner, and that'll download it. I've already downloaded it, so um, so I already have it in, in my downloads here. So I've got this uh, Swift HTTP master here, and you can see here's these files in there that we want. And we don't need the whole project because this is a sample project that shows how it works, but what we want to do is we want to use these files here. They, they say HTTP upload, HTTP task, HTTP request serializer, HTTP response serializer, okay? Um, so I'm going to select the four of these files, and what I'd like to do is I'd like to move them into my project. So I'm going to grab the four of these and drag them in here. And maybe I'll, I'll drag them into the weather folder here. And I'm going to check before, before um, you know, I just click OK. I'm going to make sure that the settings here are right. And what I want to do is copy the files if needed. And then I want to make sure that add to target my weather mockup app, the one with the little A right there. That's my app. I want to make sure that's checked. So I'll click uh, Finish, and then the files are added. Okay, And just to keep things organized, I will select the new files. That's these four right here. And um, I'm going to Control click, and you know that'll give me a little menu here. And what I want to do is I want to say New Group from Selection. And what this is going to do is it's going to make a new folder here. And I'll call that Network Helpers, right? And it, it'll make a new folder and put these files in the folder. So now you can see there's the four files there. And if I close that up, they're all in this folder. Very nice. OK, so that's going to get us a connection to the internet and get the data off the internet. But the data is going to come in in the JSON format right and what i want to do is i want to convert the json data into something that i can work with easily within swift and xcode so you know what we're going to get another helper file for that you can read json directly with swift but it's a little bit tedious to type so just you have to write a lot more code this will simplify the the code that we have to write so i'm going to go back to the internet here and i'll make a new tab and 
the library I like is called Swifty JSON. So I'm going to type in Swifty JSON, and there's another project here on GitHub. And this is the project that I want to get. And again, I'll just click the download zip button in the lower right corner here. And I've already I've already downloaded this, so um, I've got the folder here. It says Swifty JSON Master. And in here, the files are organized a little bit differently. There's a source folder. And in the source folder, you can see there's a few files. There's an info plist and swiftyjson.h and swiftyjson swifts. And the file that we want is the swiftyjson swift right here. So I'm gonna I'm going to open up Xcode and I'll follow the same procedure I did with those last files. So I'll drag the swiftyjson file into my network helpers folder. <clears throat> and before I click finish here, I'll review the options here and make sure that I've got copy files if, you know, copy items if needed, create folder reference. Actually, that one doesn't really matter so much. But this one right here is important. Add to targets, right? So this one and this one need to be checked. So I'll click finish. And now there's my JSON file and everything's ready to go. Okay. So there you go. So now we've, we're all set. We've got these helper files, and that's how we can import, you know, kind of helper files from the Internet if we need to use them in our projects.